I don't want to do anything that you guys aren't comfortable with and is documented. Just to just to refresh your memory, what we're talking about is putting a turnstile over here by the love hangar with access to the GA ramp and putting two turnstiles uh, over here by the JMAR building. Uh, and I, we did go out and measure this, and we can get a four-foot turnstile there. Uh, last time I told you it might only be enough room for a three-foot, but I think we can do a four-foot there. So two four-foot turnstiles, moving the fence, and then rehabbing this parking lot a little bit because it's in really bad shape. Uh, we believe uh, we can do all of that work for $100,000. Now, it's not in our budget. Uh, we do have a, a sufficient money in our capital reserve uh, to go ahead and start on this. And my, and my feeling was that the board said, yes, go ahead. But I, I need something more concrete than that. So I've got this as an action item. Uh, are there any questions about this? Yeah, I want to know what, what does J-Mar mean? I don't know what J-Mar means. <laughs> well, you started it by asking I'm, what was J-Mar. Yeah, Anybody I'm know? Searching for answers. Nobody okay. else. There was a comment in the last uh, board meeting in regards to those gates uh, for an additional gate over on the northwest. Yes, what I'd like to do is wait on that one because under our current conditions, uh, it's not necessary. Uh, under the procedure that we're operating right now. Once we do finally get that question worked out, then I'd like to go back and address that, but I don't want to jump the gun on that because uh, it because may not be necessary. So that's what I want to write on. So the bottom line is these four foot gates, that would actually uh, directly address the convenience issue that was brought yeah. up as far as luggage and, yeah. and groups moving through. Yeah. That's actually what we're going to do. Okay. Yeah, so they work very, very well for uh, taking things. As opposed to the smaller turnstiles, the larger ones you can take the intrusion. Um, so that would be rehabbing the parking lot, the yes. gates, and then you said to get us started on this. What does that mean? Uh, let me, okay, I don't have bids. My belief is that $100,000 will take care of those items. Okay. Yeah. So, you said rehabbing the parking lot there, but parking lot itself is it going to be the asphalt there because that's pretty what I what I'm going to try to do and I'll say I don't have pricing but I think I can afford to what what I call bow magging it where you the the perimeter road that goes from the GA to the DCC we bow mag that and that's where you just chew it up and then you lay some new asphalt on top of it and it's a very it's an inexpensive solution you've got something good down in place. And so when it's done, it should look brand new. But that, as opposed to just putting a patch on it, that's not going to last very long. Right. That's one area that's kind of been worked out of equal. Yeah. How, how soon do you think that be done once we do the. Uh, once you say okay, uh, it will, uh, let's see, probably 90 days because I want to get the. I want to get the Civil Air Patrol building finished because we're going to be doing it's going to be directly impacting that. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure I don't start stepping on myself. The gates, we can probably get started on those uh, right away, I would think. But again, I need to look at my workload and coordinate with uh, Lynn and just make sure that, you know, that we're deconflicting. Not a long period of time. Okay. Uh, you did not get this in your uh, packages that we sent out.